We've all seen history unfold in the courtroom this year and years past as well, from prosecutions of a former president named Donald Trump to a criminal case against President Joe Biden's son. And courtroom sketches have created some of the iconic images to come out of those cases. They are a window into the proceedings as cameras, as you know well, are mostly not allowed inside federal courts. Well, who draws those pictures? Scott McFarlane spoke with two courtroom artists who've made it their careers to chronicle history on a sketch pad. I was called by the uh, FBI, the agents on this trial. Jane Rosenberg, a former starving artist from New York, has found a way to make a very good living. I love sketching people. I find people fascinating. Yeah, I thought it was a big deal. Rosenberg is one of the nation's most renowned courtroom sketch artists, chronicling history on a canvas. What draws you to this type of art? It's very exciting. It's an adrenaline rush for me to get called by the news and be needed. Dispatched to the highest profile trials and hearings from Bill Cosby to El Chapo to a former president. With ink pens and pastels, she must do the work of a camera, accurately depicting not just the famous faces, but a dramatic or historic moment in time. In Washington, Bill Hennessy has spent more time in courtrooms than some of the judges. I like the sort of the unpredictable nature of it. Decades ago, he was a young dad scraping for work. Someone called and said, we need an artist. Is there anyone willing to go to a courtroom and draw? And I jumped at it because I, I, need, to, I need to support my family. Hennessy does what seems impossible to us mere mortals. You can do one of these in an hour or two? Oh, less, if, if need be, yeah. Less? Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's literally, uh, you know, a few minutes. Hennessy finished this depiction of the surprise last-minute settlement in the Dominion Fox News defamation lawsuit this spring in less than 15 minutes. Sometimes people say, oh, you have a photographic memory. I do not. That moment just sort of sears itself briefly, and I sketch as quickly as I can. Jane says her memory isn't photographic either, but believes her perspective can offer more than a camera. I have to see what happens, and then I'll be drawing very loose and sketchy, which I don't like people seeing, but it forms into the composition, and maybe somebody's here and somebody's there, so it evolves as I go along. During Donald Trump's first court appearance in his New York criminal case this year, after a few drafts, Rosenberg knew she captured the moment. Her drawing went viral and onto the cover of The New Yorker. He's looking at a prosecutor who's standing up right over his shoulder, and he is giving him a look, like, how dare you do this to me? That's the expression he was making? That's the expression he was making. Hennessy has drawn Trump, too, and the theater of Bill Clinton's Senate impeachment trial. And when the historic Bush versus Gore ruling was issued by the Supreme Court... I make a point to watch all the time till the, the case is over. Hennessy rushed out this drawing. That was interesting in that that's the press room rather than the courtroom. You sketched the press room in the Supreme Court. And I realized, oh my God, they're all on the phone. Smart choice. His ended up being the iconic sketch of that case. Do you ever have a bad guy, a defendant, say, hey, can I see how I look in your sketch? Yeah, I actually have. I have I've had several who say, I want to get a copy of that. You know? <laughs> and I think, well, let's, let's see how this goes. Let's see if you're still thinking that way at the end. A favorable verdict for these courtroom masters. It's worth noting CBS News is a frequent client for Jane Rosenberg and Bill Hennessy. As for cameras in federal courts, including here at the U.S. Supreme Court, every time Congress brings up the legislation, it falls short, which means, Nate, for this very old-fashioned form of art, there's a very bright future. That was awesome, Scott. Great stuff. Scott and that sketch got a of Hennessy you look great. Sketch, yeah. I know. Look How about that? You. Well done, yeah. Scott. That was fascinating.